Oh, I guess that's kind of reasonable. But let's see. <laughs> so what I did was I was teaching a, a course at that time. And these are really, really smart graduate students. So they were, were intelligent. And I took one class session. I probably shouldn't have done this. I took one class session for 90 minutes. I did nothing more than to tell them that if I gave them a gallon-sized bowl of Chex Mix, they would take and eat more than if I presented them with two half-gallon bowls. Okay? Pretty complicated concept there, isn't it? Yeah, we can just imagine how pe happy people were to hear about this for 90 minutes. So I lectured, we showed videos, I had people come up and do demonstrations, I broke people into groups so they could discuss how they could prevent this from ever happening to them. Um, we did interpretive dancing. <laughs> and then what happened is they left, being very intelligent and also very informed. And what happened is that about six weeks after that, when they came back from a, a holiday break, they got this seemingly unrelated invitation from me that said, hey, hey, uh, want to come to a Super Bowl party? It was that we, held it, we held it at a place called Jillian, sort of a sports bar. Anybody familiar with? Yeah, it's a, I think they have like 19 of them around the country. About half these people said yes, or about two-thirds of them said yes. They showed up at the sports bar, and when they showed up, um, they were led to one of two rooms to pick up their snacks before they went on to watch the game. Guess what the snacks were? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the people went in the left, the room on the left, ended up being presented with gallon-sized bowls of Chex Mix. You know, they took over as much as they wanted on a plate. When they got to the end of the counter, or in, to the end of the table, somebody gave them a questionnaire that, you know, is a meaningless questionnaire that had them write down who you think is going to win the game or something. We didn't even really care, but... It, what it necessitated is that they put their plate down. And when they put their plate down, the only place where they could put it was this corner of the table that happened to have a scale underneath it, a tablecloth. <laughs> they set it down, and it shows exactly how much they took. In the parallel room, which was exactly like it in every way, the same thing was going on, except it had twice as many half-gallon-sized bowls of Chex Mix. Same total volume. But the smaller bowls, which suggest a smaller consumption norm and obediently lead people to take less. Now, the crazy thing was, people who were serving themselves from these big gallon sized bowls took and ate about 53% more. Okay? But after the Super Bowl was over and they were leaving the, 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 the Jillians, we'd intercept them and we'd say, hey, you know, on average, the people uh, uh, coming the people in your group took 50% more popcorn than people over here. Do you think the size of the bowl had anything to do with it? And, and what do you think people would say? No! Oh, God, no, how could it? I'm way too smart to be fooled by a bowl. <laughs> and we'd say, well, well, why do you think that on average uh, your group ate 50% more than the other group? And people go, ah, uh, uh yeah, you know, I didn't have breakfast yesterday. I, yeah, that's what's going on. Yeah. 